grace and peace to you all. This is Pastor Ping Pong. Uh, this is the day the Lord has made and I rejoice and be glad in it. Today, I have just finished walking. Uh, I did only about 6.5 uh, miles uh, this morning. Uh, but I want to share with you today um, from the book of Matthew chapter 24 talking about the end times, the end times, the second coming of Jesus Christ. You know, the Lord will have me to really um, do some kind of exposition, expository this in teaching on Matthew chapter uh, 24 as regards uh, the second coming of Christ and also uh, as regards, you know, the tribulation. In Matthew chapter 24 and verse, um, verse, uh, uh, 21 Jesus Christ in fact let me even before leading to that place you know Jesus Christ was in the temple uh, with his disciples and the Bible says he came out of the temple and as soon as he came out of the temple his disciples came to him and when they took they came to him and they took him around to show him to they show him the temple apparently the disciples were so in much in awe looking at the temple, the magnificence of it. So they were showing Jesus Christ the temple. And then Jesus Christ, instead of him telling them, oh, wow, this is beautiful, this is great. No, he took them to what was necessary and what was very important that they had to focus their eyes on to. One, he told them this building, this temple, the magnificence of this temple, he didn't use that one, but he was saying this building will not stand, that every stone, is going to be left, you know, flattened. You go to, there will be no stone that will be left unturned. Every one of them is going to come tumbling down. And that happened uh, when Titus came in AD 70 and runs, I mean, raised it down when he, he invaded Jerusalem. But that was just the beginning of it. The disciples asked him again, he says, okay, so tell us now what is, how is, what is going to lead, what are the things that are going to lead to this occurrence, and then how, what is going to happen before you come, or what, tell us how you are going to come and all that. I'm just paraphrasing, but I want you to go back and read Matthew 24, read it prayerfully, prayerfully, on your knees, prayerfully, take your time, okay? Don't take what I'm telling you to be the final. Go back. Be like the Bereans. Go and study it also. I want you to read it. Okay? So Jesus Christ tell them that this is what is going to happen. That building is going to be left. There is no stone going to be left on 10. Which means the whole building is going to be raised down. It's going to be brought down. And then it goes on to teach, talking about false teachers, wars, and on and on, it thought. And then when it came to verse 14, it talks about the iniquity shall abound so much so that the love of many for Christ will grow cold. All those things. And we, we live in those times, those days now. Then he went on and then came to verse 21, and he says there's going to be some tribulation, great tribulation, such that has never been before in the world nor ever will be great tribulation that has never been since the beginning of the world, nor ever will be. Now you see how he, he, he say, tells us it has never been since the beginning, and then nor ever will be. So it is closed at the end here. Nor ever will be. And then he says there shall be false teachers uh, working miracles and they'll be telling you uh, here Christ is here here he's there I am the Christ and on and on all those things will be going on but they told the disciples not to pay heed to any of those things so there's going to be so much deception that if it is possible the very elect will be deceived and led astray so Jesus Christ kept them kept on talking to them so I can see them fix their gaze on Jesus listening to him when they, they told them about the great tribulation, tribulation that is going to come, so much so, you know, tribulation that has never been before or ever will be. Then it kept on going, and then when it came to verse 29, he said, soon after the tribulation. Did you hear that? He didn't say before. He said, then soon after the tribulation, 
that is when the heaven is going to open. That is when Jesus will descend on the clouds at the trumpet sound. And then he said he will send his angels to the four corners of the earth to gather the very elect, to gather them. Are you paying attention? You know, it is not before. So then when you have ministers going around telling people Christians will not go through the tribulation, please tell them you believe what Jesus Christ said, not what they are saying. Okay? Now, Jesus says, soon after the tribulation, then we shall see the sun, the heavens will open, the sun of man will appear on the clouds. It will send his angels to the four corners of the earth to gather the very his elect, to gather the saints, to gather the believers. My beloved, that is the word of God. And then Paul comes behind after Christ and confirms the same thing when he was ministering to the church of Thessalonians. The Thessalonians were seeing their fellow Christians dying left and right, and all of them thought they had a they thought that, oh, now they are giving their life to Christ. Every one of them was going to be living to see Jesus come. And they'll be going. So they, they saw their fellow believers dying and they became so discouraged. They, they felt like the message was, I mean, Paul perhaps was deceiving them because there were false teachers going around that time also saying that the coming of Christ has already taken place. So that even was causing them to, you know, become becoming uh what do you call it, more uh well discouraged you know and so that's where paul says that no jesus christ is coming he hasn't come yet he said that if anybody tells you he has already come he's lying he has not come yet he has not come yet but he will come the same way that jesus said that he will come in matthew 24 that the heavens will open jesus christ will come and with paul he says that the dead in christ shall rise first and those who are alive together will be caught up you know paul didn't talk about the angels who are going to gather us but jesus said the angels are going to gather us. so being caught up is the angels who come and gather us we will be caught up that's what jesus said so paul is saying the same thing that jesus christ said he's not preaching a different gospel he's not giving us a new whether well, there's a new ministry no 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 it was what jesus christ said that he's re-emphasizing okay my beloved and then we come to the book of first, uh, the book of Revelation, chapter one and verse seven, where uh, John tells us that uh, the Lord is going to descend. John tells us that the Lord is going. He says, "He says, behold, He cometh. He, Jesus, is coming. He is coming on the clouds. In the clouds, He's coming in the clouds. Every eye will see Him." And the people of the whole earth will wail because of him. Jesus Christ is coming in the clouds. Paul is not preaching. John is not giving a new doctrine. He's just saying the same thing that Jesus Christ said. Okay? So let us take those things. That's, let's take this in. Let us not buy into this false doctrines that is being circulated around. Those, those have a pre, pre, a pre tribulation, mid tribulation, post tribulation. We don't need any of those things. We don't need it. All you need to know is about yourself every day. Examine yourself. Am I being faithful? Am I walking with Christ? Am I in lockstep? If I should die today, where would I spend eternity? Or if Jesus should come today, will I be going with him? That, that should be your concern. Not, will I be going through the tribulation? Uh -uh. And so what? Tribulation or no tribulation, I don't, you know, nothing phases me. Okay? You and I don't have to want to find out whether we will go through tribulation. Because you and I have Christ in us. We should not fear anything. So those ministers who are telling you, you will not go through tribulation. Ask them, where did they find that from? Ask them, where did they see that from? Because if Jesus, who we are, who, has, who died to save us and to set us free from sin, he has already said, told us, what is going to happen it says even the father doesn't uh, the son doesn't know it he doesn't know it it's only his father who knows it the angels even don't know it he's the only one uh, jesus god is the only one who knows when jesus christ is coming jesus even said himself he doesn't know it so if pastor people tells you anything that i know when he's going to come and that you and i are not going to go through the tribulation when jesus already said as soon after the tribulation my friend just examine, see whether that is truth. 
So you see how many of us are being led astray. Many are being, uh, have become so gullible to the lie. Tribulation is coming. Jesus is going to be so severe that if he's not careful, if he's not cut short, even the very elect, the very elect, because there shall be so many false prophets, false teachers going around, performing miracles and all those things. And that scene is what John is showing us in the book of Revelation. John details everything. Who shows John? It is Jesus Christ who show, reveals this to John to show John how what is going to happen. So John is telling us what is how it's going to look preceding, how things are going to look like preceding the second coming of Christ. So my beloved, let us firm our gaze on Jesus Christ, fix our gaze on Jesus Christ and hold firm to him. Don't let anyone lead you astray, mislead you through false teaching. Some even are talking about the fact that Jesus Christ is going to come. There's going to be a second, a three comings of Jesus or two comings. No, he's coming once. That's the word of God. He's coming. Behold, he cometh. Behold, he cometh. Behold, he cometh. Jesus Christ is coming. Let us keep our gaze. Let us fix our gaze on Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone. Not on Pastor Pimpong, not, not on some bishop, not on some archbishop, not some uh, arch apostle, not some apostle general. No, 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 no. It's Jesus Christ and him crucified. Our titles don't mean anything. It doesn't mean anything. The titles that people carry around doesn't mean it. Don't let any of those titles uh, cause you to become so gullible to anything that people regurgitate. You know, they proclaim using it as saying that is the Lord speaking. No, my friend, let the word of God be your final authority. So go back, study the book of uh, the book that I've given, Matthew chapter 24. Read it again and be please read it line for line, verse for verse. Okay, and then go to again First Thessalonians chapter 4. Look at it. Paul is saying the same thing that Jesus Christ said. Paul is a servant of Christ. Paul cannot say anything other than what Jesus Christ has said. And John cannot say anything other than what Jesus Christ has said. Every one of them, whatever they are saying, is what Jesus Christ already said in Matthew 24. And I want you to keep that in your focus. Okay? May the Lord bless you and prosper you as you and I seek to do his will as we wait for him to appear. God bless you. This is Pastor Pimpon. Listen, I love you. And the Lord Jesus Christ loves you the most. Grace and peace to you. Bye-bye.